click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about that is how H2SO4 is very much acidic in nature and now in this topic I am going to talk about that H2SO4 is a very strong dehydrating agent also. So this is what I am going to talk about in this topic. So now let us understand this. So friends, in this topic I am going to talk about that is H2SO4 is a strong dehydrating agent. Talk about the first thing that is talking about the wet gases like Cl2, like CO2 and uh, suppose HCl. So these are the wet gases and obviously they will have a certain kind of moisture on it and that's the reason to dehydrate it also as to remove the water molecules and acid is being used. And in this case basically H2SO4 is acting like a good acid because this chemicals like suppose if I'm talking about Cl2, suppose if I'm talking about HCl and that is CO2 that is carbon dioxide, they are not very much reactive to that is sulfuric acid and that's the reason in this case H2SO4 is a very good agent to remove the moisture and to make those wet gases as dry gases and this is how basically H2SO4 has a wide application in it. So this was the thing related to that is drying the wet gases and now let me talk about the next one that is it is also acting like a good dehydrating agent. For example if I take that is a carbohydrate that is suppose if I am taking sugar that is C12 H22 O11 and suppose if I am treating it with sulfuric acid that is H2SO4. So in this case, the reaction is such devastating that we could get that is 12 moles of carbon along with that of that is 11 moles of H2. So this is how the reaction goes and this is how basically H2SO4 that is it removes all the water content and that is what we can only get carbon. And this is a very tremendous reaction that it takes place and this is one of the example that is H2SO4 is basically a very powerful dehydrating agent. So not only on this, suppose if we talk about that is glucose, suppose if that is C6, H12, O6, suppose if we have added H2SO4 in it, so the reaction will proceed in such a manner that is we could get 6 moles of carbon along with that of that is moles of H2. So this is one of the reactions which prove that H2SO4 is a very good dehydrating agent and now let me talk about the other reactions also. Suppose if I am considering formic acid that is HCOOH and suppose this formic acid is treated with H2SO4. So the thing that it will be removed is water that is H2 and the thing that is being left out is that is carbon monoxide that is Cu. And suppose if I take another acid like oxalic acid COOH and COH. So in this case water will be removed as a byproduct whenever we are treating this oxalic acid with H2SO4 along with that of we could get that is carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide and this is what we have discussed in the organic reactions and suppose if I am talking about that is ethanol suppose C2H5OH and suppose in, if this is present in the excess and suppose if we are treating it with H2SO4 so therefore this will lead to the formation of ether that is C2H5 OC2H5 along with that of H2 as a byproduct. So therefore this all are the reactions which have proved that is this is a very strong dehydrating agent. So it has a very wide applications also. So that is what I'm going to talk about in my next lecture. But for a while, so this is nothing but a topic related to H2SO4 is a good dehydrating agent. So that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.